Animals were a big part of this man's childhood. When he introduces his new wife to a gorilla from his past, he didn't expect the gorilla to do this. An unexpected outcome before Damien Aspinall became a wealthy conservationist and an owner of two zoos. He was just a child who was always surrounded by animals. In 1957, Damien's father, John Aspinall, set up an estate in the UK. This estate is known as Howlett's Wild Animal Park and extends across 700 acres, just over one square mile. This park housed a multitude of exotic animals, but specifically endangered ones. Because of the potential threat that these animals could have posed to others, it wasn't possible for Damien to have any friends come over to his home. You don't get playdates when you've got tigers in the garden, explained Damien. Nevertheless, he spent most of his time around these creatures and was happier for it. He always had a special connection with these wild beings and enjoyed their company more than other people. After John Aspinall passed, the Aspinall family struggled to keep the estate running since they had no money in the bank. While Damien's brother and sister were indifferent to nature and animals, he felt very passionately and decided to dedicate his life to helping them. He ended up becoming the chairman of the Aspinall family's organization, following in his father's footsteps. Moving forward by several years, Damien fell in love with a beautiful woman called Victoria Fisher, and they were soon married. When they were still getting to know each other, Damien shared countless stories of his childhood, specifically the ones where he'd interact with the animals at the Howlett estate. Victoria found this part of his life fascinating and couldn't help but search him and his family online. It was all true. Victoria knew that when she married him, she would also be marrying his animals. Fortunately for Damien, his wife completely understands him and his unique lifestyle. It might sound crazy, but I genuinely love the wolves as if they were my own children, Victoria claims. This love was put to the test when the married couple visited a couple of Damien's long-lost friends. These friends are a pair of gorillas who were named Dejata and Ima. There was a time when these large gorillas were little babies, and Damien was the one who raised them. However, he had to say goodbye to them when they were moved back to a protected habitat in the wild. Although he was sad to see them go, he knew it was the right choice since they deserved to be happy there. It had been a decade since the Aspinall organization released Dejalta and Imba into the wild. Damien would regularly think about these gorillas, about all the fond memories that had come with raising them like his own children. He really wanted to see them again, but he also really wanted his wife to meet them too. So Damien and Victoria hopped on a plane and traveled to Gabon. They were joined by a group of experts to help navigate both the plane and the area. Expeditions and exploring the wild were something that Damien had experienced several times before. However, this was a first for Victoria. She had never seen gorillas in the wild before, and nothing could have prepared her for what ended up happening. In spite of Damien's excitement, he was also feeling a hint of apprehension. It had been a long time since Dejalta and Ima last interacted with humans, since they were properly integrated with the wilderness of Gabon. The locals that lived around the area feared the creatures, and it couldn't be helped. No matter how sweet the two gorillas once were, they were now adults, and it was no secret that male gorillas in particular can be very aggressive animals. Damien hoped that they would recognize him, but he couldn't predict how they'd react at the sight of Victoria, someone new. Because the couple had spent a lot of time thinking about the potential outcomes of such an excursion, they were caught unaware by a different problem. As the group sat in the plane looking down at the African wilderness, they were met with another wave of stress. They didn't know where the gorillas were. When Dejalta and Ima were released into the wild, GPS locators were attached to their bodies. However useful this may have seemed at the time, it didn't help the expeditioners when it came to tracking them down. The information that the devices provided were not very specific. Even though the area was vast and completely new to them, the team had to search. The setting of the jungle is very different to an English city. Because of this locating issue, Damien and Victoria's journey became harder than first planned. The first thing they had to do 
was conquer a mountainous path that was difficult to get across. Next was a time-consuming boat ride down the jungle river, since it was the quickest way of getting to where Djalta and Ima were last located. On and on, the team trudged through the jungle floor. The search for the gorillas felt endless. Everyone was physically exhausted, but neither Damien nor Victoria was close to giving up. Although the situation had finally come to drastic measures, at least the team had come prepared. Damien's work had earned him millions in the bank, and he was the owner of state-of-the-art technology. So they turned to the next best thing they had on them, which were drones. Not only did these drones have cameras attached to them, but they were also connected to Damien's smartphone. Using the drones meant that he could search across the land at a much quicker pace. The drones went up to the sky and soon the gorillas were found. Djolta and Ima were together and they were close to a river bank. Animals are very perceptive when it comes to their surroundings, so something like a mysterious object flying around was bound to catch their attention. At first, the gorillas seemed quite hesitant. They seemed to be figuring out if the drone was a potential threat or harmless. Luckily for the expedition team, the body language of the gorillas suggested that more than anything, they were just curious. Careful not to make any sudden movements, Damien and the others got onto the boat and rode closer to where the animals were located. The team tried to stay as silent as possible, fully aware of how wild animals can react unpredictably if they feel like they're being targeted. Once the boat reached their destination, the Jalta and Ima looked towards the group of humans. Since he was their father figure for the first few stages of their lives, Damien decided to approach them first. Gradually, Damien moved out of the boat and dropped himself into the water. Because the team didn't want to bring the boats too close to the gorillas and fear that they would be too loud, they were in a deeper area of the river. Pushing through the waist-high waters, Damien got closer to the pair. He tried his best to seem as friendly as possible, keeping low to the ground and staying quiet. Suddenly, the Jalta and Ima started to make some noises. When Damien listened to their grunts closely, he realized what was happening. It was a familiar sound because the Jalta and Ima recognized him. All of his previous anxieties about this reunion faded away, replaced by joy. The next step of this journey was introducing the gorillas to his wife. As Victoria climbed out of the boat and into the waters, she tried to seem as non-threatening as her husband did. The last thing she wanted to do was frighten them. Damien was sitting by the riverbanks, keeping an eye on both his wife and his old friends. At one point, Damien told Victoria to stop moving. They had to check the gorilla's reaction to a new person. One of the gorillas made a sound. The Espinels eased up a bit when they heard that it was the same gurgling noise from earlier. Victoria took this as a positive sign and began to move again. Once she reached the riverbank, she sat down. The air was brimming with tension as the humans waited for the gorillas to respond. Then, one of them made a sound that was louder and deeper than before. Damien believed this to be a good sign. They seemed to have accepted Victoria, befriending her. The Jalta and Ima appeared fascinated by Victoria. One of them approached her to nuzzle her face, and soon they were both giving her warm hugs. It had been a long day, so the Aspinals left to get some rest. However, they planned on coming back the next day. As soon as Damien and Victoria returned to the same place by the river, they spotted the gorillas immediately. Ima hurried over to Victoria, making happy noises as he embraced her. Suddenly, Ima did something unexpected. A camera was recording, the two playing around. Ima took Victoria's hat and placed it on his own head. He also took a little sniff of it out of curiosity. Damien uploaded the video online and it gained immense popularity. The Aspinels hoped that their sweet video would not only cheer people up, but also spread awareness about the endangered state of these western lowland gorillas. What did you think of this hilarious moment? If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more stories like this one.